Hello and welcome back everyone, and fourth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Fade here, my Imperial agent on the world of Taris. Where we last left off, we were helping Imperial interests here in the Tularan Marsh dealing with the Rat Ghouls, and we are now looking for a bio-research facility. We need to triangulate its position and see if this rogue Jedi has raided it yet or not. In Dr. Kadera's lab, she picked up something known as the, what was it, the Ultra Wave Transmitter? Either way, we haven't heard from Chance yet, our contact here with the Republic SIS, but we have encountered another member of Imperial Intelligence, Pixar 15, also known as Dr. Loken. He has offered us aid and they're tracking down this Jedi's movement. He's curious. I don't know what his objective is. Obviously, he had an objective over Dr. Kadera's lab, but maybe he's just interested in technology that the Empire may benefit from. So Republic forces here. Let's bypass them for now. It's somewhere around here. Chance to leg it. Come in, leg it. I know you're busy, sir, so I'll keep it short. Any progress finding Kai Sazen? I met a Dr. Lokin at Nason Godera's lab. He thinks Sazen is raiding facilities across Terrace. I'm en route to one now. That's great. That name rings a bell, though. Hold on. Dr. Eckerd Logan, Imperial Intelligence. Twelve confirmed kills over 30 years. Not a lot in the file. Be careful with that man, okay? And contact me when you find anything. If this is how you treat a defector, I'd love to see you manage Republic personnel. You have a great deal of field experience. I respect that. And for the record, I don't agree with how Master Koth is using the command codes. I'd like to make up for it. Oh, Chance knows that the command codes are being used. I mean, I certainly don't agree with it either, especially considering Koff's uh, bio that he believes of turning enemies into friends, and yet he's not willing to take the chance with us. I mean, to be fair, we are a cipher agent. But, you know, I can understand his reason. <laughs> I can totally understand his reason. At the same time, I don't like it. So, where are we going? Oh, okay. Oh, I have a feeling we have, we're have we going to go into Transport Station 5. God damn it. We were talking about Transport Station 5 being the final area most players of the Republic have to visit. And apart from a heroic mission, we didn't need to pop our head in there as an Imperial agent, so far. I expected that we were going to go into the Sinking City, but I don't think we're that lucky. Oh dear. Almost made some rat ghoul friends.
Cypher, I think we have our lead. I'm receiving faint signals from an old Teresian transport station. Were I a betting man, I'd say our bio-research lab, our Jedi's next target, is in there. Do you have any more information on the area? Nothing pertinent. I understand the lab itself was built by one Dr. Durant. Departed. I don't know whether the Jedi and her people have found the lab yet, so do be cautious. I look forward to hearing what you find. Doesn't sound like Dr. Logan is going to meet us there. the entrance. Do we have all of the, speaking of, uh, datacrons. Taris. We have one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're safe here for the moment. Give me just a second. Um, right. Star Wars, The Old Republic, Datacron, Datacorns, that's not how you spell that. And we are wanting Taris Imperial, or Empire, I suppose. Bum, 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 bum. You'll do. So, which one do we already have? We have the Orange Mastery, which I guess was cunning back in the day. So there is one in Transport Station 5. Where does it start? Oh, is it the same... It may be the same jumping puzzle. Yeah, it's a Republic one or an Imperial one. Right, okay. I know this one already. That's a simple jumping puzzle. Right. Um, This is another one that's Republic or Empire. It's in the resettlement zone. How do you get to this one? Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's the same one again. Right, okay. I know where that one is as well. So I know where there is an an endurance and a presence datacron. Yeah, both Republic and Imperials have datacrons in the same locations. Here's the cunning one, which we already have. That one was located in the Tularan Marsh. Right. We have one in the basement of Dynamite General Hospital. That's a Republic one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Empire. Where is this one? Sorry, I'm looking at a map here. I know it's not very interesting for you. This one's in the Sinking City. In a place I very rarely visit. Right, okay. I might have to use a guide for that one. And then this one... Is in the Brel. Oh. Okay, there's one back in the Brel sediment. Right. Okay, okay. So there's one here. So we're here in Transport Station 5. 
And we do actually need to go into this region. Perfect. That's where we need to go for the data crop. Used to sneak around in the transport stations on Brentall. High traffic hours. You could really mess people up. Like some of our Imperials have already cleaned out a lot of this area. As you can see, we'd have quite a fight on our hands getting through all these rack ghouls. You can actually see the data cron in distance there. We have some Republic commandos nearby. Fairly straightforward. You have located a data cron, an ancient technology once used by the Infinite Empire that can improve your natural attributes. This one has one singular purpose to improve your presence attribute. So, a Dr. Durant. A name I'm not for completely familiar with, but it may have had some relevance back on Taris. Hmm, what's this? You left Tosla because I asked. You told your kin to fight for the Republic and be paid in land and weapons. You've done well. But I swore I wouldn't abandon you on that festering pus hole of a world. My chosen bear my message, and I'm coming to Terra soon. Huh. It's only about Tazla. That pus world of a planet. Seems that she has all of her people are Nikto.
down. We are also looking out for any other chronicles. I guess they may be placed all over Terrace. Well, we certainly thinned out her forces. Big one up ahead. Nice horns. You are not to be here. You are not welcome. You must be Kai Sazen's henchman. You speak her name. You are not worthy. Die! Well, he's prone to violence. Yeah. You say her name, immediately he attacks. Striking at the servants of Kai Sazen, you have sealed your fate. I may die, but she will never be defeated. What are you talking about? Why are you so devoted to a Jedi? Kai Sazan saved my people. She was only a Padawan when she came to Tasla and slew the spine dragon of Mdweshu. It was she who brought the Nikto to Terrace. We swore our lives to her, and I will tell you nothing. 
You'll talk, sooner or later. Improvised interrogations are my speciality. For example, this is a bio-research lab, isn't it? What do you think would happen if I injected you with these chemicals? You would not. I bet he would. Of course, I should probably test the dosage on your men first. Enough! I will not. I will not allow that. We came to find the secrets of the Ultrawave Transmitter, a machine crafted by Nassan Godera. Its signals are the song of the Rakuls. It controls their colonies. When it is ready, they will be her army. What's a Jedi going to do with a Rakul army? You will rule the stars, but not yet. The Ultrawave Transmitter was never completed. That is our task. The three chosen of Kai Sazen, each with our own mission. I was to obtain Raku biological research from this, the laboratory of Dr. Durant. The chosen Boker seeks data on colony movements. The chosen Fentar seeks a Republic scientist, Dr. Iana Sell, to complete the device. They will triumph soon. What about the Jedi? Tell us where to find her. I have told you of my brothers so they may meet you in battle, but I will tell you nothing more. Look for your brothers on the other side. Let's get out of here. Then maybe call for reinforcements. So, there are two others. Iana Cell. I know my holocommunicator is going off. Iana Cell. Is that a, someone who the Republic player meets? He almost looks like Mola. Oh, oh, she's the crazy doctor who's looking for a um, lucky survivor. Yes, holy shit. <laughs> it's interesting that a. Uh, some of the characters are coming back. When you're here on Taris as a player of the Republic, she is uh, looking into the... There was a serum to cure the Rakuls. And she was looking for some of that serum, but there wasn't enough. Therefore, she wanted a fresh victim, shall we say, or fresh survivor, so that she could... Um, create a up-to-date modern vaccine. This is Leggett to Chance. We have a situation with Kai Sazen. Chance here, sir. I'm listening. Building a Rat Ghoul army with the Ultrawave transmitter? Why? She has two more sets of followers, then. One going after this Republic scientist, one after the Rat Ghoul colony data. We'll have to split up to stop them both. We need to divide our resources. I'll try to find our scientists before the Nikto do. If this doctor's cell works for the colonists, I should have a shot. You need to figure out where they'd go for Rat Ghoul colony scans. Do you have a plan in mind? Your best chance may be Dr. Loken. He knows the science, the transmitter, and the Rat Ghouls. And he's smarter than me. I'm not saying trust him, but he could help us to stop the Nikto chance out okay chance is willing to make use of dr loken's expertise have we capped out hmm, not yet okay oh bloody hell So Chance is willing to go after Iana Cell himself. But he wants us to find this other Nikto brother who is looking for the Rakul migrationary patterns. Let's pull out our map. Where are we heading?
Okay, these are the Chronicles. Where is Dr. Logan? Oh! He's back in Gadera's lab. Actually, that works out rather well. Since we need to go to the Brel Sediment, and in fact, we need to go close to the Chemworks. Um, yeah, that works out quite nicely, actually. Why is he still here? Is he still trying to understand the ultra wave transmitter? At least we know what the device is now meant to do. Why is he still down here by himself? It's very brave of him considering the entire upper level is surrounded by rat ghouls. Maybe that's why. Maybe he's not willing to uh, run the gauntlet. I wonder if he can kind of secure like a blast door or something to make sure that the rectals don't get in. Looks like he's uh, tidied up the bodies, at the very least. Cypher, back with hardly a scratch. And here I am, practically electrocuting myself on Nason Gadera's equipment. How embarrassing. What exactly have you been doing? I'm still piecing together this and that. Nason Gadera may have been brilliant, but he was not a studious record keeper. So, any luck finding our Jedi? Kai Sazen is trying to use the ultra wave transmitter to control rat ghouls. But she needs data on rat ghoul colony movements. I want to stop her servants from getting it. Aye. That is worrisome. Rat ghouls are a hobby of mine. If I wanted rat ghoul colony data, I'd set up a sensor net to collect field readings. If I didn't have a sensor net, I'd use the settler's sensors along the military front lines. Full of data your friends will want, unless you claim it first. You're a useful man to have around. Thank you. And I'm not finished. My own recipe of culto-derivative combat stimulants. Medicine to make you more deadly. But against your enemies, you'll need it. So we grab the data before the Nikto do and shoot the ones in our way. Good times. And we've been given stimulants for our trouble. His own brand. Oh, no stimulants for me. While you're visiting Rack Ghoul Sensors, I'm sure I can keep busy here. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Pull out the map. One, two, and... Yeah, so the sensor nets are quite close to the Chronicles. So it is highly likely that the Nikto brother that is also hunting for the colony movements has been around these locations giving us an indication that they are already trying to get they're already getting the data they require not a good sign we should probably get the chronicles in order hmm okay what will Mm. Yeah, 
that's fine. Get ourselves just outside of the laboratory here. Now, I do have a guide on how to get the Datacron, but let's just see what we can do without it basically holding our hands. And if I need help then, then we'll uh, make use of it. So the abandoned pirate cave. class has to come down here. Sif Warrior, maybe? God, it's been a while since I've been on Taris. Boy, we're heading into a Republic mine. Oh, have I not? Is this not the one I've already picked up? I've already collected. Where the hell do you start? This, oh, I see. You and me, we're getting good. Give me a second. I'm just gonna double check to make sure this is not the one I've already picked up. Uh, Republic Mines. This is a cunning plus four. I have a feeling I've got this one already. So we have the strength one, sorry, the presence one, the endurance one, I know where that is, aim, ah, this might be the one, in the Tularan Marsh, oh, is this the one, oh, uh, okay, I think, yeah, all right, so I might need to go to the Tularan Marsh. Then we have the willpower one, which is to the northeast of the sinking city, and then the cunning one, which is where we are right now. Right. And this is the one we already have. Right, okay. I had a feeling, because this is the one where you start up here, and work your way up onto these uh, pipes, and you just slowly work your way higher. Across here. Bit of a little bit of a jumping puzzle. Right. Um, if that's the case, because <laughs> we're not going to do any more of the storyline. We're just going to go data cron hunting for the moment. So if you are just interested in helping Imperial interests or the storyline, feel free to skip ahead. Because normally we don't normally need to visit here either. Um... This is another Imperial base within the Tularan Marsh. But it's the closest point to where we can get another Datacron. So I need to start...
the maps are different. It's a little bit awkward for an Imperial player. The names are actually different. Let's see. Hopefully it's the same layout though. Just using this using the map. So I am looking about here. Okay. So about there. On the map. Now, just how to get there. I think this is part of data crons that is visible and yet it's a bit of a um gotta follow the uh the plates as i call them we haven't really talked much about taris you learn more about it as a player of the republic and what it was prior to its bombardment. But basically, Taris... I always like, explain it like it's like a Midgar from um, Final Fantasy VII. You had the two different worlds, the two different levels of living. You had the upper class and the corporations living on the plates which were supported by, obviously, giant supports. And then you had the gangs and the less well-off who were living under. So this is our starting point. At least I believe it is our starting point. Where do we go from here? Ah, there's the data cron. see like the wreckage of some of the old skyscrapers yeah you can see some of the obviously we're standing on what remains of one of the plates right now and it was an entire imperial fleet led by Darth Malak basically were surrounding the world and bombarded it Trying to track down a Jedi and her companions. Let's see if we go all the way around. careful sometimes because if you hit like walls at the wrong angle if you don't like get across they may make you bounce
Ooh, Jesus. I was actually leaning forward on my chair there a little. You have located a data cron and ancient technology once used by the Infinite Empire to improve your natural attributes. This one was designed for a singular purpose, to improve one's mastery attribute. What we're going to end up doing is... Heading up to this region here. Now, yes, we are going to bypass the second chronicle and the first of the sensor nets. I'm not even going to worry about it. <laughs> we'll look into that next time. So, with that data cron recovered, I figure, as I might as well grab this data cron now. So this is the willpower, or formerly the willpower. This one is going to take some jumping. There's a break in the floor you have to watch out for when you're really close to the datacron. Okay, so it starts there. Okay, very well. Um, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna take that warning in mind. Where is that warning? Hmm. Oh well. So map again. Uh, we'll get the better map up. I think we start here. Yes. We started about this point. Okay. We don't normally need to come up this way for any reason. Unless it's part of the heroic. In fact, I think it is part of the heroic. Yep, the Jedi Enclave excavation site. see I mean I'm I should probably try and get up a height and then see if I can spot the data cron I'm guessing it's on the upper level somewhere I think I'm guessing this is our starting point Any sign of a data cron? Probably can get onto there. I'm just gonna pull out the guide again. I know where we start. Oh! Well, I screwed up immediately, didn't I? I screwed up immediately. Nice job. Wait, did I really? Oh, I see. Oh dear, careful. 
I could just um, throw myself off and uh, kill myself. I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. Uh, Kaleo, why don't you just set up to heal me? Make my life just a little bit easier Rise while doing this. I guess we didn't have to go all the way to the beginning. I think we need to be here. Ooh, ooh, Christ. Come on. Don't know if this is leading us towards our goal. Seems promising. I would have expected really more to follow the wall, but, oh. Oh, hello. Where the hell are we meant to get over there? Can I get onto this ledge here? And then go around? <gasps> oh dear, I'm dead. I got squished. I feel like I was kind of right. Yeah, the guide says I'm um, doing this job also got them killed. And we're not jumping. Ah, okay, we're not jumping onto the ledge. We're jumping onto. A protrusion before the lead it might be might give us a bit more stability. Right, okay. So so far I've had three four deaths maybe. One of which you never saw. Um, it was on... Where was that again? Oh, it was on Noshadar. I was getting set up to start a video and, um, trying to get a good camera angle and backed up into absolute nothingness. And, um, well, died horribly. And obviously we had another falling death there. I think we've had actually one actual, actual death. Which isn't bad. Considering. These angles are a little bit finicky. 
I mean, I know it's ruins and all that jazz. I think we're trying to get onto here. Bloody hell, what the hell? Latency suddenly just kicked my arse. Come on, everything's kind of smoothing out for me. This seems fairly straightforward, apart from we need to watch out for the break in the floor. Oh, never mind. Uh, right. Okay. Remember breaking the floor, take it easy. seconds. Fuck my life. Jesus Christ, I got so excited that I was like, oh, the gap in the floor is clear. There's nothing, there's no other way I can possibly fuck this up. <laughs> I didn't even have to say it, I was thinking it, and... They decided, um, I don't know what, like, what you want to call it, karma? Fate decided to go, hey, <laughs> you think so? Jesus Christ. You have located another Datacron, an ancient technology once used by the Infinite Empire. This Datacron was created for a singular purpose, to improve one's mastery attribute. Jesus H. Christ. So, if we're looking now, we should have three? Oh, four of the Teresian Datacrons. The final one, the Endurance Datacron, is in the Resettlement Zone. And it is in the same location as it is for a player of the Republic. Perfect. So, what we'll do is we'll get ourselves to the forward outpost in the Sinking City, and I suppose that's where we'll take a break. This is not, this is like an outpost you don't normally find yourself. You do pass it by, on the way to meet General Farfin, but apart from that, you're not normally here. We do have a bit of mail, but tell you what, we'll uh, look at that mail at the beginning of the next part. So, thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and when we come back, we're going to go see General Farfin to see how we can improve Imperial interests while also looking for this, I suppose, Rakgul colony movement data that this rogue Jedi is searching for. 
But as I say, thank you all for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.